Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hello everyone, this is Gary Martin with the Michigan Runner, and we're up here in Saginaw at a fifth anniversary event, and I'm going to be pacing tomorrow. But I have a, one of the, a couple of the organizers of this event, and uh, what's your name? Laura Fiore. Andy Brady. So, um, what uh, kind of... How'd you guys decide to uh, start this event? As you told me, it's our fifth anniversary of this event. Fifth anniversary, yes. Uh, five years ago, I wanted to um, have a, an event to raise money for Covenant Kids, um, which is a dedicated fund at, at um, Covenant Healthcare um, with money set aside to um, purchase things for, to enhance the care at, at Covenant Healthcare. Um, certain things that normally wouldn't be purchased by a hospital, um, for example, as a result of this race, we were able to purchase an MRI um, DVD player, like these special goggles, and they're very expensive because um, it can't have any metal in it and that sort of thing. And you know, when kids go through an MRI, they they're there for like 45 minutes. They have to be very still, and um, so the goggles help them to to do that, so we can get a good study, you know, that sort of thing. So that's what the money is raised for. About five years ago, you know, we decided to have this event. Um, it's grown to be such a big event that um, I brought in Andy here from Try to Finish. Um, last year was their inaugural year um, being the race management company for this event. So it's going really, it's been just growing every year by a couple hundred every year. And now we're well over a thousand. So. Uh, now, was the race originally just like a mile for the kids and a 5K? And then you added the half marathon. How'd that go? <clears throat> um, no, we've always had the half marathon. Okay. Yep, and it's always been a USATF certified half marathon. But uh, one of the benefits of bringing in Try to Finish is it's now a, a USATF sanctioned event, so it's a little more official. <laughs> and uh, how many participants do you have uh, registered for this year? Uh, how many, Andy? Uh, right we're now? right at about 1,000 yeah. as of now. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, last year, even with the flooding locally that everyone was well aware of, we had 180 race day par or, uh, registrations. Um, so we're looking for tomorrow to be a, a pretty big registration day. Yeah. Flood free. Flood, yeah, yeah. Flood free. Yeah. Flood free. Flood. Flood. So, so last year a little bit of the course was flooded over. Oh, absolutely. We had to change the course up uh, last minute, actually. Um, it still went very well. It was a great day, just a little wet. Yeah, and well, and actually, that the course that he changed over was also a USATF certified course. Um, we had anticipated that we live in the Saginaw Valley, and there's rivers there. But it was last minute that we had to make the change over, and it worked out great. I mean, they haven't tried to finish on board. They email, you know, the registrants with an athlete guide, and it's very, uh, very well organized event. People feel good about it, um, and they do great things by participating. So yeah, I think maybe, maybe, hopefully, we'll get up to about 1,300 registrations. Yeah. Tomorrow oh, um, right. for the total counts. That's my goal. Oh, well, that'll be great. And uh, yeah. I just think about a couple more things, you know, of, of this race. Uh, what what made you decide to uh, add some pacers to the uh, group? Well, just to sort of change it up. Um, I was fortunate um, with a local sponsor, McDonald uh, GMC Cadillac. I wanted to bring in uh, be the official pace team of the half marathon. And um, just to add just another amenity for the runners, it's free for the runners to sign up, you know, with the pace team and just to add the additional encouragement. Um, this course is a very fast and flat course. Um, it's a beautiful course. It's country roads. It goes on the rail trail. It goes okay. over covered bridges with oh, water. Okay. It's just beautiful out here. Okay. Um, believe it or not, the trees are budding. I mean, it's, it's a good deal, um, especially for, you know, to kind of start up your season. Um, and so just adding the pacers there, I think, is just uh, another just another way to make it kind of a nice motivating day. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it, we, in, in addition, we have, um, you know, of course, obviously, aid stations every couple of miles. But um, we've added cheer stations, a, okay. lot, a lot of the local um, school groups and different things, um, the track teams. They're out there, and they're cheering, motivating the athletes. So it's a, it's a nice, it's a good day. 
Well, it sounds exciting. I'm uh, getting excited just uh, thinking about it. And I see you guys have a, a really cool medal you're going to give all the finishers. So it's looking like it's going to be a big day out there. Um, definitely looking forward to it, especially if we're going to be running in the countryside out yeah. here. Well, did you see the? Uh, did you see what the overall champion of the half marathon gets? No, we did not see that. We'll go in and they, check that out. They get a long sleeve quarter zip training shirt. It says half marathon champion down the arm. Awesome. So, cool. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, bragging rights. That's right. That, yeah. well, that's always good to have an, uh, after you've run a, won a big race like this. That's correct. So, yeah. any last words from Andy over here on the course or anything uh, else? Not much. Uh, you know, Laura's done a great job with this race. It's one that we're thrilled to be a part of. Uh, we're local here in this area, so it, it, it's a great benefit for us to be here working with the people that we live with. Um, we do have nice finisher medals this year, which was Laura's idea. Great finisher medals, uh, gold, silver, bronze for the age groups. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we look forward to a great event, a fun event. It's supposed to be sunny, a little cold, but hey, we're running, right? That's yeah. right. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, we're all looking forward to running it, and uh, we'll have a post-race wrap-up and tell us all about the success of it after we're all done tomorrow. Excellent. Okay, hello everyone. Well, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner, and well, it was a nice day up here in Saginaw at the Covenant uh, Extra Mile uh, races. Uh, we did the half marathon, and uh, nice, beautiful course, nice and flat, lawn, lots of uh, railed the trails, lots of music here at the finish line as they're cleaning up. And uh, they had a nice little 5K, about a thousand participants. But I'd highly recommend coming up. This is a great course up here, back out in the country roads and uh, some beautiful trails. So come on up and do this race. It was a fifth year race. Definitely worth coming back to do again sometime soon. Uh, so put it on your schedule. At the end of April next year, you'll definitely enjoy coming to it.